Hey guys, this is me Sophie and today we're going to talk about Russian mythology. And it's not just Russian mythology, there is Slavic mythology. And as we know, Slavic group is consists of East, West and South Slavs. So Slavic group is full of nationalities and there are Russians, Belarusians, Ukrainians, Slovenians, Serbs, Czechs and others. So these countries have the same roots and our mythology has much in common. So it's not just Russian mythology. And let's begin with Pirun. Pirun is a god of thunder and war. He is a supreme god. His symbol is hammer or axe. He is the embodiment of military strength and power. When people wanted to appease him, they sacrificed bulls. In springtime, Pirun comes with his lightnings and rain. He moistens the land, and that is the way how nature wakes up after the winter. And the next one is Makash. Makash is the goddess of destiny. She gave birth to life and other gods. Her name consists of Ma and Kosh. Ma means mother and Kosh means destiny. So Makash is the mother of our destinies. Makash and her two assistants, Dolia and Nidolia, embroider the canvas of the universe. Makash decides who will live or who will die. When people wanted to achieve her favor, they dropped into the well all things that she needs for embroidery. Why did people drop things into the wells? So, answer is, people thought that well is a gateway between the worlds. Another one is Velis, who also is a werewolf. Velis, the god of everyday life, wisdom and knowledge. Velis knows enchantment and he is the only one who learns bright and dark forces. He also can subordinate for elements. He often can walk among people in the form of wild animals or just human's body. When he is being in the form of wild animal, he protects people's houses and travelers, and usually he protects them from dark forces, devils and so on. Stribok, the god of wind. Stribok is also one of the supreme gods like Pirun, so he is the god of wind. He was presented like an old man with gray hair and he has a bow and arrow. Sailors and merchants always honor Stribok because his wind moved sailors' ships. The first mention of Stribok was found in famous Russian chronicle, the primary chronicle. In Russian sounds like Povest Vremenich Let. It proves that people really honor and respect Stribok. The next goddess is Mara or Marena, the goddess of death. Mara or Marena is goddess of death, reincarnation and resurrection. Slavic believes that Marena mostly dominates at winter because she takes souls of people or all living things that were died from cold. In fairy tales she was a wife of Kashei Besmirtny or in English Kashei the Immortal. And just few words about gods who became a main character in Slavic folk tales. Maybe some of you know Baba Yaga, and we know she is an old ugly woman, she is antagonist and she lives in house with chicken feet. Also she can fly by a strange abnormal device that looks like bucket. Moreover she likes to kidnap children. So people just use this character to scare naughty children. But that is a lie. Baba Yaga, she is a dark witch, but it doesn't mean she is 100% an antagonist. She is smart and wise, and uh, the war between good or bad, between bright or dark forces wasn't exciting or interesting for her. She was better than that, and uh, she can understand uh, the animal's language and the language of plants. Moreover, she likes kids. Uh, but she didn't eat them or kidnap, she just helped them if uh, these kids uh, were in trouble or they were lost. And finally, Kashei Besmirtny or Kashei the Immortal. 
By the way, it sounds strange in English. Kashi is uh, immortal. Kashi was an old angry man, but also he was a wise. He can turn into a raven, and another amazing cool ability is that he can control dead and other dark creatures. He wears armor that nobody can break. People and even gods were afraid of him, and they avoided him. People were afraid of knights, because at night, you know, Kashi was trying to find new souls and take them to the land of the dead. But actually, he just controls the world of the death, and he doesn't even kill. And I hope this video was interesting, amazing, educational, unforgettable, unbelievable. And thank you guys for watching. See you later. Words about... Понятно.